Good morning, everyone. I'm waiting for the stream to go live. I can see in the other window it isn't. That's what two monitors can do. Woo! I want to thank Blasid for following. I'm surprised it took him that long. He is a friend. And I'm going to announce to everybody what's going on. The one thing is weird is clicking in this window to go over to this monitor is, is something I'm not used to yet. I, I really should be, um, yeah, it hasn't even announced me yet. It hasn't, I really should do this before I get started, but I don't think that that's going to be possible for me. BBC. I also should be working on doing things. Like I have um, real work to do and I have not just real work. I have stuff I want to do in game, but that's part of why I'm doing this is uh, I'm actually considering doing a housing game for you today. I want to do a simple one because I'm always doing more complex ones and a lot of people have been asking me for the help. But I figured we'd start with a rando and then we'd go to, to the next step when we get there. Um, to Ravor, Supifus, Alnivore, Purified Lizard. If any of you uh, can tell me your NA names, I would appreciate it. That way I can send you a present because none of them were your NA names. So this is uh, Viewdang, V-U-E-D-A-N-G-E. -E. I'm probably saying it completely wrong. Um, and it looks like this front room is just a uh, banking and all sorts of crafting room. And then, oh, how lovely. This is quite nice. View dang. Let me add them to my list. Uh, owner. And I would consider this a freestanding building because it doesn't, there is no building here. And it looks like there's a whole bunch of different connections to different people's houses. Maybe their favorite. I see some good ones here. I'm not sure what that is all about. And then this looks like, wow, this is really nice. This is very interesting. Just a very well done up, some achievement furnishings here. Just showing off some items. Books. This looks like a nice place to just sit. And the centerpiece is a good idea. And then it, they block it off with a statue. And I doubt, given the way they've extended it, it's possible they didn't do anything behind, but I see a ramp. HFB. That's got to be a guild name. Hey, Sleeping Villa. Hey, Moon Kitty. I, I have no hammy this morning. My hammy is gone. I don't know where he is. Um, I'm going to shout out for him, though. And for you, Moon Kitty. I don't know if you stream Sleeping Bella. Moon Kitty Kate is a real sweetheart. Both of those people are. So if you want to follow them, you, you can have some really nice people to add. We're just looking at our rando. And uh, today has been a slow morning because I guess I get used to uh, watching the real war hamster in the morning and, and unconscious after staying up all day. It wouldn't surprise me. And it kind of bums me out because, oh, you do stream. I'll throw you a, a shout out then. It's good for me to get practice at this. 
Yeah. Well, you know, it was a it was a fun weekend. What kind of streaming do you do sleeping? Do you do like uh, building general PvP, PvE, whatever? Yeah, HFB. I'm trying to think of what guilds that would be. This is all beautiful. And it's it's unusual for somebody build up. Usually people people do build down in this area. So building up is different and I like different. I think there is stuff down there though. Which is hard to do when you consider that there are three sections to this and um, it looks like all three are open. Uh, I think that's just the back. That's just the back of the building. You're all over the place, so general. That's fine. Um, a lot of people like to watch just a little bit of something, you know. It's like a little bit of this, a little bit of that. It's like cooking. But me, I pretty much stick to housing because... Oh, no. I'm, a, I'm the potato here. I'm the one who can't do any sort of uh, dungeons or whatever. I am the potato. So Moongrave Fane is usually my most hated of all of these sections. And apparently this person didn't like them either because they just put EHT portals in here and nothing else. Which doesn't surprise me because it's just, of the three, the least I like. You know, I really don't care for it. So what did they do with the pretty lion's cradle? I have stuff I need to do to the lion's cradle that I haven't done yet. So, nothing in, on the outside, but let's see what's inside. I've got stuff to do in here. Nothing. Okay. So, that was a really good beginning rando. Um, I want to see, I saw some other people. Let's see if anybody I recognize is in there, one of our people. Yes, you can get the third one by finishing the Southern Elsewhere quest line. No, not no dungeon. You have to actually finish the main quest line and then you get it automatically. I haven't seen very many lucky cats, so let's go to Gil uh Rannell. Yeah, and I mean the quest line's kind of long too, so I was a little surprised by that. Hey Ariel. But that's that's how you do it. That's how you open it up. Oh, good. Well, then go check. <laughs> Just pour to your house and check. Okay. Yeah, it's been a it's been a sad, hamulous morning. Very depressing. So this is a uh, moon sugar. I mean, uh, the whoa, Karen, lucky cat. Words hard. Still early in the morning. Still not through my coffee. Streaming earlier than usual because normally I would just be listening to Hammy. I wouldn't be streaming, I guess, yet. But got to do what you got to do. You are sad at work. Oh, you're sad that you are at are at work. Well, technically I'm at work too, but I'm not doing any. Um, this is my office, which is in my house, but I I work from home. And from here, I usually am doing my different things uh, for work, which is I do genealogy research. Uh, and I get paid for it by a genealogy company. I should go see. I have three tablets and I... Yes! If you have three ta the tablets, you have all three. Hey, Twantle. And that is an amazing, amazing emote. Deviant Fish. All the cool people are here. You guys are showing up. It's awesome. So yeah, um, and here's the porch, which has a great view of a broken house. Yes, for the Moon Champion house. I mean, this view is not impressive. And I, I, I mean, it's one of the major reasons why I didn't buy this property was for that very reason. I, I just don't. So today I'm going to build, but I'm not going to start with building. I want to go through and make sure I hit the simple ones of houses that I have not yet toured. 
I'm going to try to do the smaller, simpler ones. Ah, Silent Magnifico. Yeah, you're going to have to, but I mean, what a waste of, a, of something that could have been nice, but it isn't. You know, it's a bummer. Let me see about people I haven't done, because I've done a whole bunch of his. Oh, gosh, I've been doing genealogy for over 20 years. I am a real genealogy freak. Um, let's do Darius Dragon 57 because I actually don't know this person. And it's a lovely exterior and warm, I wrote. And it's their autumn gate. So let's do that. Yeah. Yeah, I've been doing it for well over 20 years. Um... It's a hobby, but it's also an obsession. Uh, I love to research. And in fact, that's what now, you know, I became a lawyer and that was my favorite part of being a lawyer. And now that I'm a researcher, I research. Um, but I also do it as a hobby. So I'm pretty good at it. Um, I don't just do internet research. I also go to places. Thanks for the follow aerial view. Okay piece of paper care. Plan ahead. <sighs> Mr. Dude Guy, sir. All the cool peeps. We are looking at an autumn skate. <laughs> no problem. Um, we're looking at an autumn skate here. Uh, just basically Danny, Darius Dragon 57, who is a person that I don't know. Altered views. Oh my goodness. Tons of people. Glad to see you this morning. Uh, we're just, I don't have music going because my music, every time I try to do it, it screws me up. Well, I blame Hammy watching him decorating. <laughs> yes. We can go to some of your houses if any of you want to do that right now. Um, what I was actually going to do was pick up some, some furnishings because I was going to show you all a simpler house. But it's up to you guys because, I mean, I don't know which of you. Some people were asking for a simple house, and that's all right. I, I can do that, you know, a beginner's house, and then show you how to get started. Or we can go with something a little bit more. Um, we can still look at, you know, more high-end, confusing. Wait, hold on. Oh, that's interesting. I, I thought I had it on my app, but I on my phone, but I I may not have. All right, so this is just one of my uh, storage houses and I'm just looking for some basics to throw down in a basic house. Mm. Yeah, or not, you know, you never know. Yeah, and I don't even use it. I just stick it in the corner. Isn't that kind of depressing? I'm uh, I'm thinking about just doing this quickly and because because a lot of people were saying that they're afraid to get started, and the trick with getting started is just to imagine what you would want in a in your own house <laughs> fifth husband fifth cousin not fifth husband oh my goodness that's a big oof. that's not that close don't worry about it it's when you're like siblings or first cousins that you need to worry about it no ears i must have missed something about ears or that's a typo I'm just gonna throw some some uh, basics in a house real quick and get you an idea of how to study it how to start it words coffee 
must have more coffee. So in case you're curious, I use essential housing tools to line these all up. I am not going to use essential housing tools in this house that I'm going to build now, this quick one, because I don't want to go too fancy to start out. I want to do something a little bit simpler. And to be honest, I'm probably going to end up breaking this house down pretty quickly. It's not going to stick around. I do have nice things, but I, I have too many of them. <laughs> and it's getting to the point where I just don't have enough room. I need to get rid of some stuff. But the truth is, is that I actually use them. So every time I want to get rid of stuff, I regret it. All right, I have enough of those. I have enough of those. Oh. Book, book. I may use that. I may not. CC on your stream for lurkers? I don't know what that is. You can teach me something. Oh, I need a brazier and I'll show you why. And then we'll use some of these. A couple of these. Got this one. Oh, closed captioning. Gotcha. Yeah, you know, if people lurk, they lurk. If they can't listen, they can't listen. They don't have to for me. I don't mind. I'm just uh, happy that people stop by. I thought you had to pay for it, though. Make that patty whack. See, I'm getting fancy already. I need to knock this crap off. I should just do something simple. But I don't think it's within my nature. But I'm going to try. I'm going to try to be simple. Luna and K-Pow. K-Pow, yes. Because sometimes, like, I love her to death, but she's so loud and it actually hurts my head that, you know, she's loud and she's boisterous and she's a great person, but I can't handle it. And so I have to turn it off sometimes and just watch her bouncing around. She's a great person. Um, I enjoy her stream and I recommend it, but, you, you know, sometimes it's, it's a bit much. So, okay, so I think what I'm going to do is actually, let's see how many slots I have left in my Hall of the Lunar Champion. Yeah. Oh, there are free ones, okay. I'll look into it. Um, I've just been so distracted with other things. You know, Thanksgiving's coming up in the US, and there's a lot of preparation for that and a lot of plans to be made. And I had to get a sitter for my cat because my cat is dying. <clears throat> Should have been dead like three months ago, but I love him to death, so I'm glad he's not. But my cat is dying, and so he needs medication multiple times a day. He needs medication like four times a day. And we're if we go on Thanksgiving, uh, we would be going up north to see his mother, uh, my husband's mother. Did I block that on purpose? I don't think I blocked that on purpose. I think that just happened. Huh. All right, let me put the... Why is that there? That's odd. Where's the opener? Here it is. Okay. See, I think things are moving. Very oddly, I think things are moving. So that's how you open the third one. You get the this tablet, and then you just put it on top of this particular thing. It's the same as the other two. 
Uh, I have 300. Oh, I have plenty of space in here. All right. We will. Here we go. Hall of Lunar Champion. What? Oh. Look at this. Somebody, something moved all my stuff because I wouldn't have put them hanging up in the sky. Jeez. Yeah, well, all right. So he gets his meds four times a day, four times a day. And, you know, even if you get a family member, are they able to give their medication to a cat? You know, sometimes that's not as easy as it sounds. Um, cats can be difficult to medicate. So I actually talked to, um, I just been sticking well out here because I like wells. Um, so we actually hire a vet tech to come and she's gonna have to come twice on Thanksgiving to come in. Uh, and of course we pay more for that, but it's that or he dies. So, you know, I think I prefer to have him alive. So what I'm doing here is um, I'm kind of just thinking about what kinds of things I would want in my house. And, you know, really the basics. Now, there's a couple of things I would, you know, this really brings down the classiness of the house to have the laundry hanging up. But on the other hand, it makes it look lived in. And you don't have to commit to anything. So if you, if you decide you don't want to actually have your, your furnish, you know, your laundry hanging up, you don't have to keep it. You can take it down. Not a problem. But yeah, I am having trouble with, with my cat dying. It's really hard for me. It's not, my cats are kind of my life. I don't really have a lot going on. I like to use this rug as an outside, you know, like welcome mat. I think it looks like a good welcome mat. Now the interior of this house is crap, which is why I have absolutely no problem doing things. Now, if I were going to do this as a, as a totally high end ambitious build, I would reskin it. The interior has this nasty ass mold and whatever else growing on it that is probably poisonous. So I probably would have put brick or, or some other kind of texture wooden planks something to cover the walls um probably the ceiling too hey i never noticed that before that must just be an ornamentation and then um i probably also would have used eht to make windows because these are not real windows and to want to it is hard i lost one of my guinea pigs in june after a long run with an ear infection that spread to the skull it's hard when you love them so much Grant is the best cat I've ever had. And I say that going through things with a cat that is, you know, I had a cat that got me through cancer and this cat is better. I mean, it's, it's sad, but it's the truth. He is the most gentle cat. He's never bit, he's never scratched. He's never done anything um, bad. He's never jumped on the counter. He's never, shit or peed where he shouldn't he has always been well I, that's not true in the last month or two we've had him on so many diuretics that the poor guy was peeing on the bed like and so we figured out that he wasn't able to make it to the litter box in time so we put the litter box in the bedroom which is disgusting but he hasn't wet the bed even once since then it's like he didn't want to wet the bed you know so Brett and carpet, usually the first thing I throw down, sometimes I use the square one, which takes up more space. Um, and then sometimes I'll do a second carpet over it, sometimes. I mean, I'm not sure I love this, but that's the thing, you don't have to love it. You can just throw things down just for the time being and see how you like things. Um, yeah, he's an amazing cat, amazing, amazing cat, just a sweetheart. Now I probably would start with the bedroom because you need a bedroom and this house is going to be super small. So you have to think about where you want things. So I would pr probably put the bed over there. That's just a bed I had laying around. So all of these things are not going to match because they're just stuff that I picked up that I have laying around. Um, chandelier. There we go. Put some light on the situation. Ha! Ah, good morning, Cromwell. I know what I want. 
I need to get something. I think it is in my strident. Um, that's the way I operate though. Half the time I'm building, I'm like running out, getting stuff, picking things up. No, because when you have, when you get into housing and you start buying pack, like sets from the crown store, or if you start buying um, like luxury items, you don't want to get rid of them. You want, you know, some of them are bound. So what do you do? Generally, in my case, what I do is I just hold on to it and see what happens. You know, see when I need it. That's what I wanted. And, uh, and generally I will need them again. So it's hard. It's hard to have enough places to put these things because if you put them in a house, they don't count in your bank as an item slot. So it's, it's a double edged sword. Sometimes it's a good thing to have them in the bank because they take up less space in your houses, but other times you just want the bank space. So it's a choice that you need to make based on your own personal. Does anyone notice that all of these seem to have lost their things? That's odd. Huh. What? That's really weird. I don't know why it's doing that. Huh. I think things are moving around. Yeah, junk houses are right. Ooh, it did move around a lot. Holy crap. I'm going to have to redo this one. Like, redo my... Hold on. For some reason, this entire house shifted. And I'm going to fix that. And the way that I fix it is, since yesterday, I... I actually saved a backup. I did it as final dark moves. So let's do revert to last save. Yes, confirm. And now it's going to f hopefully fix it. Um, so yeah, saving, saving, yeah, see, it fixed it. I see, saving is a is a lifesaver. Can you imagine, like, walking in your house and everything's just shifted over so strangely and broken, and, and, and why is it like this? And then all you need to do is hit reload last save, and it fixes everything. It, I don't know if you had seen it, but like all of my textures were over here, and like trees and and waterfalls weren't where they're supposed to be. Now everything's perfect. So saving is, is a, literally a lifesaver, not literally, figuratively. <laughs> so back to the lion's cradle, um, basic, basic. Yeah, they do need a better inventory st st uh, system for housing, but I'm up two minds of that. The first mind is, is that I don't think it's ever going to happen um, because they're, they just don't care, you know, but on the other hand, um, my feeling is that perhaps it will because Cardi's there. Now I know it's a hot area, but I want a, I want a fireplace and you all can just live with that because I want it to be portion of a kitchen. So this came from the holiday pack, but you could build one very easily just with blocks or there's so many fancy, uh, st sorry guys, I'm having trouble today with words. Um, there's lots and lots of these that people have made and you can just copy them. Hey, Everelia. Um, so what I do here is for braze, for, for firelight, when I don't want to spend a hundred K for a bunch of logs, I'll pay, I'll pay nothing and get, I, I hide this. Sure. Rivor. Um, I will hide one of these witches brazers under here. So it looks like there's fire. And then I will put some wood, like a thing of wood in front of it. So it looks real, looks, looks natural. Uh, that's generally what I do to fake a fire. 
Yeah, there's no reason to buy it with real money. You know? Let me pick up these logs and then I'll check out your house, Rob Or. Are you on EU or NA? Because I'm only going to do NA today. I have to write down the EU ones and go there later. Oh, thank you. Uh, I, I think that's partially it, and I think also my last antibiotic for whatever the heck is wrong with me, I just took today. Um, so it's possible that that is what is screwing me up. Yes, which is why I'm starting basic. Uh, yeah, I think it can be demotivating sometimes to see somebody had put, oh, you play EU? I'll write you down and I'll get you on a, another time when I'm doing EU houses. I just feel like it can be incredibly difficult sometimes. I don't know. But it, it can also be really inspiring. So what you might want to do is just start on a build, get something down, and then when you kind of get stuck or don't know what to do, at that point, you could then go and visit other amazing houses and maybe that will help. You know, it's all, I guess it's up to the person. Like what, what helps you be more creative? You know, and sometimes what I'll do is, is I'll finish a house and then I'll go through every single one of my screenshots of things that I liked. And then, then I'll say, oh, I wanna do that. So I'll change my sync up. But that's like at the last step. When the house is almost done is when I will do that. Um, generally, this is not how I normally build. I normally come up with an idea. I would usually have an idea and I stick with it. And it's, a, it's, that's just how I work is I come up with an idea first. But for a typical house house, where you're just building one. Yeah, I know. Um, if you're just building a regular house, you don't need to think like that because we all know what a house looks like. We all know what our preferred home would look like. So workshop tools. So these I just bought from the furnishing vendor for I think 100 gold. And you just pop it in there over the brazier and you have a fireplace and it looks right and you don't have to spend a ton of money on it. And you can see even sink them in a little bit to make them look a little bit more realistic. There you go. Um, there is also a wood holder thingy, which I haven't brought in yet, but that'll go in there. Um, stool, just hanging out. The stools are very cheap. I'm not gonna worry about uh, dec decor yet, really. What I tend to do after a bedroom section is is a little bit of storage you know where do you keep your stuff because you're gonna have stuff parlor um i don't think i brought enough stuff like that in but whatever we can always add it later so the next step uh in this house would be for me is to pray that EHT stops being EHTE. And the next thing for a simple house I would do is probably a kitchen. So the kitchen should have a fire near it. And I typically use these uh, Alinori fountains as sinks. Um, so that would be, that would be the beginning of my kitchen. And typically I like to have Here's a cabinet where I can put food and stuff. And, and this is really what I'm getting at. It's this simple. Just put things as you go where you think they belong and, you know. Oh yeah, turkey. You don't have to do an amazing job, you know. You don't have to start out with everything looking perfect. I always put a uh, jester's coffer in every one of my houses because I have a gazillion of them. Cookware, dishes, 
booze, meals. How about a table, Karen? How about a table? Put a book on the bed is my standard because I'm always reading um, in real life. And then for shelving, because, you know, you'll say, well, I want to have a, a little bit of a library. Now, I am not a fan of this style, so I won't use it, but you could put a bookshelf like right there. We'll just stick it there and pretend like there's another one that's better. Um, now I'm going to have to have a place to eat. So this will be a seating area. Actually, I'll set, I'll center it on the fire because I think that looks better. But your house can look what, like whatever you want it to look like. This is just me throwing down basic things that I think would look good in a house that I like, you know? And maybe I would have a book on that table eventually. Um, I would want a little bit of incense on that table that's not there. Little decor by the front door. Little bit of light because it's not bright enough in here. Um, my lights generally move a lot during building because I always stick them in places that they really shouldn't be in and then I'll have to move them around. One nice touch is putting a candle in your bookshelf actually really lightens things up and you can put items in your bookshelf as well. Um, that does not want to be selected so let me do it this way. Sometimes it's just a pain in the butt and it's all very simple and so you put in a candle sometimes things look like they are in, a, in place and then they're really not and what i like to do is to go into gallery and select you know maybe a statuette or something and i stick it in here so that it looks like i have a personal library this isn't just you know take the normal library and stick it on the wall and that's all you do if you if you actually put items in it, it looks more legit. So I like it better this way, but you can do what you like. There's no reason not to. And for any of you who do building, you saw that I probably saw that I didn't even bother to get it to turn green to make sure that it'll work because I don't care. And obviously this isn't even lined up right. I just stuck it there because I just wanted to get something up and show it. Um, Good way to cover this disgusting house's walls would be paintings. You can buy these for one or 200 gold a piece. They're really super cheap. I like to put smaller ones over the mantle and you can use anything you want, bigger, smaller, whatever. And it, it's just a simple house. It doesn't have to be fancy. I like to put busts up on the mantle. Makes me feel important. I only have one because I suck. Um, so yeah, there's lots of things. Undaunted. Maybe I could put a dragon up on the wall. No, he's a little much. I don't like the people ones. The people ones are really creepy. It's like, I don't really want a person's head on my wall. But some people might. So I'll just stick this, this one up there. You could do... A, you know, all of your trophies can go up. Cookware. All right, so what do we put in here? Well, I can tell you I'm going to put a candle in there, but I also want to put in a pot. Uh, this fireplace is the one that came with the, um, the holiday pack that's going to come up, and it's also not even. Um, you can, it's fake though. I have a brazier in the ground, and um, so I don't bother with buying the actual fires, typically. Um, I always just bake it. And actually, this can show a little bit because it's, it's going to be under the wood. See? That's my trick, is you can get away with not having to buy, you know, the 100,000 plus priced items. Nord candle. Okay, let's stick you in there. So now you can see what's inside this little area here. 
um, when I'm getting dressed, I probably want a mirror. Um, maybe I want to sit by the fire, have a little body pillow here. I, I'm missing a table, as you can see. But that will come later. And then I, you can always add little trunks and whatnot at a later point, but I'm just showing you. This is, this is how you do it. It's this, it's not that hard to, once you get started, it's not that hard to come up with ideas. It's just come up with what you, look at what you have and then think about what you would want in a house. Um, for me, it's always going to be bed, a little bit of a bath or dressing area, cooking slash kitchen slash heat, um, and a little bit of books. And it's, you can also do some skooma. Let's say skooma is your thing. I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. Uh, couches are good in case you want to sit and enjoy the fire. I could put the pie dish in my little cabinet. Always make sure to look at things at multiple angles because you can see, I, it looked like I got that right in there, but I didn't. It was hanging over. So sometimes you can be looking at something and think that you got it just right, but then when you look at it again, you realize, oh wait, no, I didn't. It's not just right. So for example, that. And in fact, I might even put that down there. Potatoes is right. So. What a lot of people like to do is to layer bowls or plates so you could take uh, surface drag is annoying you could take your bowl and then you could take another bowl and maybe like stack it although these are different sizes so they wouldn't really work but you get the idea cooking right now in the is a meal i like to put that over the stove maybe i'll have something it's on fire now i'll have something hanging down to hold it so this now i got a hekoshi hook Build, put it in there and i've got thank you and i've got now food cooking still kind of on fire but whatever you get the idea all of this is just me showing you that you can you can do this stuff and don't don't be too intimidated to try because honestly the hardest part of building is getting started <laughs> because you think oh my stuff isn't good enough i don't want to do it because i feel bad and my stuff won't be good enough and the truth is is that everybody feels that way even the best builders feel that way so don't don't feel so bad And I think actually that this is pretty much, if I were to go, go crazy with it, I would do a lot more things. Um, go eat or go do work. <laughs> See you later. I saw eat and I thought eating. So this is it. This is a basic, basic house and you've got it right. I mean, the only thing I would add from this is a table and I don't really feel like buying a table. So you get the basic idea. So this is all non-cobbled, non-EHT, done with the basic. Uh, I use Oblivion UI, and you can get it on Minion. And just done with the basic stuff, and you don't have to go crazy with it. I mean, things are uneven in this house. And then the next step would be getting things to be maybe fancier or make maybe straighten everything out so that it looks right you know maybe some of these things are uneven and it bugs you or you want more storage or whatever and that's when you would start messing around with it and making it maybe you'll go to somebody else's house and get some inspiration you know in fact we can do that uh i'm your champ Actually, all of these are the first sections, so I don't want to show you one of those yet. 
But the idea is, is that you can go to other people's houses and check this stuff out and get ideas at this point. That would be what I would do. Um, let me see. want a fairly simple small house so that we don't get overwhelmed but I'm running out of them <laughs> twin arches Morgan Price twin arches I'm wondering if that's one I showed you I hope it's not uh, if you're on an A, Ronnie, and I can't remember whether you are or you aren't, but I will look at the, your stuff on NA today. Uh, if it's EU, I can look some other time. Wow, care. Good job. So what I'm going to do is see if it's an open house. No. Morgan Prince. Good job, care. Morgan Prince, not Morgan Price. So what I wrote down for this, for, for this Twin Arches is lovely floral interior. Twin Arches is a small house with a spectacular view. Um, one of my favorite houses and it's pretty affordable. <clears throat> I don't have anything built in mine right now. Um, but you get the idea that now how you can start. It's, it's, the question is, can you start, you know, is your um, motivation there? And hopefully it is. Here you go. There are some, there's one effect and I bet you it's this. Nope, those are the actual item. So we have a look at this cute little, you got a cute little area in the garden itself. Now there's been a lot done here. So you might feel intimidated at first, but when you look at it a little closer, you can realize that you could do this too pretty easily. Um, I always use these red guard circles for gardening because they're really almost like raised gardening. And what they did is they popped it in their garden and then they put these vendor flowers. So you can buy these red ones and the, the gla uh, grandmother hibiscus and the, and the grass, all of those can be bought from vendors. Um, in elsewhere except for the grandmother's hibiscus which I think is you'd have to look it up it's one of the other ones so they they just put flowers around it stuck a light in it and then put a tree there and what it does is it just makes it this pretty little nook and maybe you want a garden nook maybe you've thought about having one and that's what you go with or maybe just as you're going these things just happen so this house is incredibly different <laughs> Um, than I initially int it had it saw, thought it was. They, these are, um, these only are one at a time, but they, they actually leveled three of them down. So they made it look like a more modern lamp than it actually is. These are the wedding lanterns and they don't usually come in threes. So that's a good idea. This is a fairly advanced design of a very simple home. So don't feel intimidated. I said, are you a NA or EU? I can't remember. Cause I'm not doing EU today. Um, and then they did a kitchen. This is an item you can buy. This is the Red Guard uh, stove. So don't feel intimidated. Like you have to build it from scratch. You don't. And then um, this is one of the suggestions I have for doing things that are warm. Okay, Ronnie Seven. Here you go. It's um, carpeting makes things warm. Oh, they use the same fireplace I used. That's the same fireplace. And they use the same trick I used, I think, because there's, yeah, they used a Khajiiti fire, um, fireplace underneath it and then they stuck a lamp under there too or a brazier and so they made it look like it's it's actually one of those fires but I don't think it is and this is what I was talking about or getting one of these log things I'm probably going to grab one for that house books books are important so each one of these 
that's EHT, by the way. Each one of these little sections makes sense. Um, if you want a starter house, this is a good starter house. Yours does not have to look this, this advanced, but the idea is, is you can start simple and then add on. Like maybe you decide, this is usually wide open. And maybe you decide you don't like that it's wide open. So why don't you add a bookshelf that cuts the house in half? It's really just about what you like and what you don't like. So that's, that's that. Let's go to our roundies. We'll go to their primary. Um, I really apologize for today. The words are escaping me. It's my last time on the antibiotic and the antibiotic just really seems to interfere with my train of thought. So perhaps today was not the best day to do a training session. But, you know, you got what you got. So this is the Sugar Bowl. This is in Northern Elsewhere, and it's cheap. Either cheap or free, I can't remember. And this is a very, it's a small house. So you only get um, 29 out of 30 items in here. And they did a great job for something with so few items that are allowed. Um, mostly elsewhere stuff a little bit of other things here and there um that's crown only but you don't know you may want to spend a couple of dollars because maybe you like that or you could get it through a gold seller you know or a um crown seller i personally use tce but it's 300 a crown right now because there's a crown shortage so it's up to you what you want to use you know Zobby's chilling on some money over here. She'll scratch your eyes out if you try. It's okay. You can fill it out. The idea is, is that you start small. You do the basics of what you want. And then you visit or watch streams or whatever. And look at other versions of that house and you get ideas. And suddenly you go, oh, I can make a kitchen with a, with a fountain instead of just having it be food. You know, I can throw a fountain in there. And th that really works. Yeah, Sepaphos, I, I usually do that as well because I don't like to spend gold, money that I don't have to spend. But they, these, this is exactly what I've been talking about in terms of what's important to you. So clearly what's important to Arani to have it, it to have is a little bit of storage, a bed, um, some books, some money, and a place to work. And Arani doesn't need to have food because they're in the Sugar Bowl suite, which is attached to the Sugar Bowl Inn, which where they probably eat every night as part of their rent every month. You know, it, it makes sense. Not every house has to have a kitchen. I tend to do kitchens a lot because I like kitchens, you know? Kitchens are fun. I feel like doing something crazy. Uh, we've been looking at small and, and all that, and I kind of want to do something bigger. I will check in a little bit, Arani. Let me write that down. Arani, one... And we'll do, I just want to do a big house and then we can go to that one. Golden. Because I'm feeling, I'm feeling it. I feel like I need to have a little bit of something big. And I don't mean that in a dirty way at all. Oh, Lord. So, what is big that I could take you to? Let's go to Exeltheus's Princely Dawnlight. That is a huge house. And it's also a crown house that is not always for sale. Um, I don't know. It'll probably come back on Black Friday, though. Well, actually, a lot of houses may come back on Black Friday. So be aware that you may want to be saving up some of your money now. Because uh, I think last year there were at least like three or four houses up for sale on Black Friday. So if you want crowns, you know, perhaps get crowns because you can't do crown buying with houses. Sucks. Uh, you can do almost everything else but houses. You can do furnishing packs. So if they have furnishing packs for sale on Black Friday, which they might, 
um, you could have that gifted to you with crowns. Now, keep in mind, too, though, with the, the crown issue going on, like the crown shortage, it's going to be fairly expensive and may take a really long time. Yeah, I've seen Greek vamp stuff, and it's pretty impressive. Uh, Greek vamp is one of the best, if not the best. No, I think Chrysaia gives him a run for his money, but pretty good. So I remember looking at this house, and I thought, I wrote down that it has an amazing aquarium. This looks like it's a guild house, because you can see when you first come in, AAI, that's got to be a guild name. Um, and then you just explore a little bit. Okay, yeah, so this is guild house because you can see all of the tables, you know. This is actually a decent house for tables. You can put them all up along that extra edge outside and you'd never even have to go in the house with them. This is Princely Dawnlight. You probably don't know it because it's a crown house and it's not often for sale. But what I was saying is it's possible that it will be for sale for Black Friday, more than likely. Affordable items, okay. Yeah, it's in Hughes Bain. Uh, about housing, because that's all I talk about. I don't really know about other stuff that you should know. Um, I'm just a housing gal. <laughs> I don't do PvP and I don't stream PvE at all. I just stream housing. So this is Sithis. Just chilling because it's Sithis. Kriya001. Thank you for the follow. Sorry. I'll write down your name so I can send you prezzies. So yeah, Mundo Stones. So you know that this is a definitely a house. Um, this is definitely a guild house. It is an amazing house, but let me say, I think it's better suited as a guild house than it is as a house house. And I'll tell you why. Personally, as a builder, I feel like it's too restrictive. This house has a particular way that it looks. And you re it's really difficult to get away from how this house looks. Um, this is lovely. Look at that. That's smart. Okay, so what they used in the background is that clockwork. Um, there's a tube thing in clockwork that you can buy as an achievement vending vendor. And it they put it behind it to make it look like water. But I think that it's a very expensive way to do it. <laughs> but it looks amazing, yeah, right? What is the challenge? The fact that the house is, is very specific? That's a neat mount. Yeah, this must be a necromancy room. That must be what they decided they needed. Uh, I think that it's, it's too, like, the shape of it, the bones of it. You know what, when you hear a designer or a house flipper or a house whatever talking about the bones of a house... They mean that this, like the structure of the house itself is, is restricted to this shape. It's not, you can't really change that all that much. You could block it off, I guess. Um, but that sort of is defeating the purpose of the house. The house is meant to look like this. I don't know. You can always defeat the purpose of a house. So maybe my concerns about it are, are pointless, but I don't really love and then they decided they needed to eat people, as you do. Yeah. Necromancy and cannibalism. Uh, so, yeah, blood. Oh, wow. This is a very dark, dark interior. In, in terms of mood. Whew. They may have hit their item limit or come close. No, 685. So they came close to hitting their item limit. But it doesn't look like they actually hit it. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm not really into this, owning this house. Like, I like to see other people's versions of this house. Now, this is interesting because this is all pools and little water pools and pretty things like that. And they decided to block a lot of it off with Daedric Rock. 
I guess they thought it was too light looking, you know, like happy looking. I don't know. So let's look at Arani's other house because they said that they have uh what the heck is that called golden golden griffin i love me some griffins all right so we'll go look at arani's golden griffin and so this will be uh another small house but you can do a lot of things with small houses in fact i'll show you my golden griffin which i'm almost a little bit embarrassed about um oh i already got it i went to it through the hub thank you though um my golden griffin was the place that i used for my cake in j hart's anniversary of eso cake contest where you had to make cakes so mine is just housing a cake and nothing else it's not very fancy there's not a lot to it but here you go oh this is very nice so we've got a fireplace Wait, did I sign this? I must have signed this. Yeah, I saw this in September. Okay. Um, and then, you know, I've seen people do a second floor in this house, but you don't need to. This is almost like this is somebody's office. They they have a, a home in the inn that they use as, as an office almost. That's how I read this. It may You may have had something completely different in mind, but that is my interpretation of what you've shown is that, you know, you come in here, you put the, oh, see, they did exactly what I was talking about with putting items on the, on the, uh, bookshelves. So make it look like it's, you know, not standard. You, it has a little bit of different, it's more personalized. Drizz lamps are great for building because they're so dim. These are your lawyers. <laughs> oh, that's funny. You know, they're too nice to be lawyers. <laughs> and I'm saying this as a lawyer. <laughs> ah, you're killing me. Entire large stuff. Yeah, yeah, so my... Oh, that's cute. Um, you know, I thought about entering that contest, but I, I'm just overwhelmed with, with contests right now. So here, we'll look at my Golden Griffin. It, it's a little bit... Um, it's EHT heavy because uh, I just decided I wanted to make a whole house, a whole room out of it. So don't feel intimidated by that. But at some point I will build an EHT house so that you can see the differences. Now, when I say that, that's difficult to say because there are multiple kinds of EHT type houses. Like there's animated houses, there's houses put together with EHT, like built with it. And then other ones like this, which are mostly effects. So let this load. See, I only have 15 out of 30 items. That's because this is what I did. Okay. This is my cake. Um, all I did is I put a background on there and I built the cake mostly out of effects. So those are layered cheeses. See, this is with the effects off. And wisteria a candle on top and um i put it on a table and there you go that's my cake it was an effects cake it didn't win i think they wanted more um regular looking stuff they didn't really want this to be the kind of cake that you entered so and of course it's the golden griffin so you need a griffin in there i want to keep a griffin in my home um so yeah this is this is what I was going for and this is what I got. And what I like to do about those fake backgrounds is that when you do them, bring some items to the forefront so that they look like, you know, you're edging into the house a little bit. There's a little crossover and it doesn't look so fake. So that's, that's an EHT version of that. I don't think I've shown that house before. Yeah, it does. Um, I could show you two more examples of that that I really like. Um, and then we'll look at other people's houses. But my Sugar Bowl Suite, I don't know if you guys remember, the Sugar Bowl Suite contest that Jay Hart had where you had to um, decorate your Sugar Bowl Suite. Um, I actually did it quite literally. 
I did it as a giant sugar bowl because I have a sense of humor. This is one of those houses that I already had an idea when I started. I didn't start decorating and then putting things as I went. This was one where I like, I knew I was gonna make a giant sugar bowl. This is what I wanted to make. And so I came in and I made a sugar bowl. So here's the, the thing that we're talking about in terms of backgrounds. So there you go. I, I made this look like a bigger area by adding a background and by adding, you know, textures to the walls or whatnot. And then I made this, I cobbled this out of two different things. This is a light and one of those flu thingies. I forget what they're called. Bellows. And I just, I knew what I wanted to make. So this was easy to make. It was a quick build because I liked it so much. Um, and because I knew exactly where I was going. But that's rare for me. I don't usually know exactly where I'm going. So don't feel... Don't feel bad if you can't think about it. You know, you can't think of it. Um, one last one real quick of that kind of thing. It's one of my favorite techniques is to layer uh, illusions behind things to make it look bigger. I have a couple more that I've done that with, but I'm not going to, going to show them to you because... Um, I have one in my Sleek Creek, but it's it's really just that. You know, you walk into the house and that's all you see is that. There's nothing else in there, so it's kind of a waste to show you. But what I did is I incorporated it in this one because um, I wanted the house to be... See, it's just this small room because I closed it off from the rest of Mornoth. But then I wanted it to look like the house kept going. So I, I put it behind a, an open door, open wall, really. And I put it in there and I made it very dark. So it looks like you would have to walk up some stairs and go into the dark. And this room came out really good. I was really happy with this house. See what it looks like normally. So that's all I did is I buried a painting in there to make it look like the house keeps going. So that's something you can do with uh, essential housing tools. It's fairly easy. Let's look at another big one. All Navor isn't on, but I, I wanted, I've done one of their houses. Uh, 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 uh. Big ones, Dryden. All right, let's go to Her Hermione Re Granger's Excuse me. Strident. Still in some pain. Not as much as I was before, but um, I may have actually, this may have been the one that I, that was in the contest. And if that's the case, I don't know if we want to look at it again. If it is, I will, we'll go to a different one because I've already toured it on the stream. So if you guys have any questions about building, I'm happy to show you. Um, some other time I can start a, doing a house of effects, but I thought, you know, just walking you through a basic, basic house was probably a good step in the right direction to show you how to get started. I personally have this block with writing where I, I want to know everything up ahead of time. Oh wow, this is this is different. Uh, I want to know everything ahead of time. I want to know what I'm going to do, but that isn't always possible with writing. So what I've learned is, from doing NaNoWriMo and taking a creative writing class is that sometimes you just have to write and let it go anywhere it wants to go. And if it's stupid, it's stupid. And if it's bad, it's bad. Doesn't matter. Don't, don't, don't try to fix it. Just keep going, you know? And I think it's, it's a good way to come up with ideas. And then you go back and you rewrite and you rewrite and you rewrite. But to start, to come up with the great ideas, you would basically, you just go with it. And that's what I think you can do with housing is like, you know, at go, as you're going, you're trying different things, you're learning different things, and it may not be great. This is all built in. This isn't 
normally here. It may come out really crappy, in fact. You may think that it looks stupid or it's not that good. But then the next time you go back to change it, you'll make it look better. You know, it's always something that we are learning. And that means, you know, even Chrysaea, who is amazing, you know, she's always learning. She's always doing the next, next thing that just blows our minds. So I think that it's good to remember that even the best builders are constantly learning. And that's true of everybody, you know, and you can learn from, from very basic, very simple houses. It doesn't have to be, you know, not everything has to be the, the most fanciest house in the world to learn something from it. Oh, this is neat. So this is, this is all very pretty. And I like, I think I wrote it down because I liked that thing downstairs. Um, with the, the thing that went up on the mountain. All right. Let me show you something and then um, yeah, but don't feel bad about it because it like you'll never get anything down on paper or you'll never get anything built if you're constantly self editing before you put, any, put anything down on paper. And that's the problem that I had, which is like, I would listen to Mark Knopfler, who's my favorite uh, favorite musician, and his lyrics are fantastic. And I would listen to them and I'd be like, my writing isn't like this, it's terrible. And so I wouldn't write because I would think it has to be on that level. Well, that's ridiculous because I'm just starting out. He's been doing it a lifetime. Um, it may be simpler for him. And for all I know, he, he worked his ass off on coming up with those lyrics. You know, I, I don't know. Maybe it wasn't simple for him. Uh, this house has two builds in it. And I'm going to show you just something about one of the builds. So you can see what I'm talking about. Um, so don't expect that of yourself. And it's okay to produce crap. Because once you produce crap, you can go back and make it less crappy. So this was a Sheograth build uh, that I did for a contest, but I'm, that is not what I'm showing you. What I'm showing you is the animation I did. So I have all of these different, you see all the little plants swaying back and forth? Okay, what used, I have cannibalized this build. So there's Sheo's missing, you know, a lot of the treasure's missing, almost everything's missing except for the plants. But you can see what the plants, what I got the plants to do with EHT. And here you go. And they're dancing. See? Now, this isn't easy to do. And I've never repeated it. Like, I figured it out after futzing with it for a really long time. And I had trouble doing it. It was not easy. But then... Eventually I got there and I eventually was able to do it. And then I had to watch a lot of uh, tutorials on how to do it. And eventually I got it. And, it. and what you'll notice is it's off center and I'm afraid to change it because if it's, you see where it starts, it's not centered. I wanted it centered, but I was like, you know what? If I try to change that, I am going to break the whole thing because I barely knew what I was doing to do this. Yeah, creativity is tough. It really is. It's, it's, it's hard to, man, it is hard to get started and it's hard to do drafts and it, it can feel, it can feel overwhelming, but what are you going to do? So here, um, move this back. Oh no, that wasn't that one. It was this one. I like to close this off so that people only go to the other build in this house and the other build in this house is much nicer. Um, we're not going to go explore the build, but I'll just show you real quick what, what the other build was is this bonsai garden. I, yeah. So I encourage you to use whatever property you have 
It looks like I could even have a third build in here. 425 out of 700 items. That's interesting. That's, I mean, because I killed the first build practically. I may end up having to just kill it all finally, whatever. In fact, I might do that. Um, let's look at if there's one more Randall, we'll do that. Otherwise, I'm, I'm not feeling well. What am I doing? These don't last miss. Oh, because I have war in them. Thank you. Um, I haven't really been... Well, the building is two-parter. The building is half real and half not real. So those are Khajiiti tents that I built. And I just put them on different, you know, shapes because I wanted that look of, of on the end of the curl up that the tents actually had naturally. So I built it like that. And then the windows are all EHT, essential housing tools add-on. So that was, that was how I did that. Cause it's not, I mean, this is, if you don't have essential housing tools, this is what it would look like to you if you walked in here, but it's worth getting it because it's, you know, you get to do cool stuff like that or see cool stuff like that. And I like to see what other people build, you know? So if, if they, I want to see what their effects look like because it's not simple to do. So let's see what they do with it. All right. We have one shot at this. Let's see if they screwed it up. No, they didn't. Silver Rose 61. And the reason why I said we have one shot is because all of the rest of them I know have permissions wrong. The permissions are screwed up. I can't go to those houses. So this is the erstwhile, which is also a crown house, which is probably coming back on Black Friday. It did last year. I am always so tempted when I see it, but the dark of it just gets me. Um, I love the waterfalls, but it's so dark. I don't know that I can, I don't know. So here's the treasure. We found the treasure. Okay, so this person has 35 effects. And not many furnishings, 196 furnishings. But I see here they've done a lot with effects. Um, this is clearly supposed to be a treasure room and it's also got an aquarium in it and that's all effect. That's really cute. Uh, they have some, they have an ax up on the wall and these are all, uh, these bookshelves are all effects. Now what they've done that I really like is they've turned down the brightness because when this how when you put this bookshelf down, it's super bright. It's like painful bright. And they turn down the brightness so it looks more realistic. Like this probably could have been darker. Um, this is nice and dark and well done. And I'm happy that they did that. Did I not sign? I did not sign. Okay. Um, they put a waterfall effect over the door. So you go through oh they built a whole story around it look at that you you can have npcs in eht and you can make them say things unfortunately they don't have any way to open and close the doors yet in eht so they have portals to different houses probably their own Ooh, gosh that's creepy flickering was creepy this is aether that's what this effect is lots of effects lots of mushrooms probably more storyline we've got a vampire and an orc guarding her so they went with the dark and scary and that's fine that's it's pretty much what this house is meant for and then they're going to try to kill me Looks like this is a work in progress. Somebody is trying to figure out what to do with the rest of the space. They had really good ideas for the beginning, but they didn't know what to do with the rest of it. And that's okay. I mean, that's honestly how you get started. Until you have the ideas, just leave it and then come back and do some more. But yeah, that's it. And, um,
I'm just checking something. I'll show you Elder Velothi and then we'll be done. I've shown you Elder Velothi before, but um, it's a it's a pretty simple house that I did. One of, one of the super earliest ones. But the reason why I want to show it to you is because it's it's a it's a house house. It's meant to be a house. It was a Valentine's Day house that was meant to um, enter into the contest that Jay Hart had. And, it, and the idea behind it was it was supposed to be a romantic date. So that was the idea. I don't know if it really conveyed that. But that was my hope. And so I closed off these rooms because I didn't want to decorate them. I closed off the basement because I didn't want to decorate that. But everything else here is pretty much just, I did a date, you know, here's a candlelit dinner and two people can sit here and eat. And then the petals leading upstairs and uh, there's a beautiful garden here. So you could look at the garden. And then what I wanted to do was take advantage of the view. So I built up from the balcony, you can do this, and built a platform and here's the bed because, you know, romantic date. Snacks and a bathtub for, you know, bathtub for two kind of situation. So this was my idea for, even when I'm doing simpler builds, I like to take advantage of views. And Vardenfell views are the best views. And so it's a sh it's like almost a sin that they didn't let you have this naturally. You have to build it. But you can build it. So don't be afraid to try. But I'm going to call it on that because I am truthfully not feeling well. It's getting worse instead of better. But I want to thank you guys for following and watching this morning. And I love you all. And um, I will see you soon. Probably tomorrow or the day after. So have a good one and hopefully we see Hammy soon. Bye.